Meanwhile, the ruling APC continues the search for solutions over the Supreme Court judgment, threatening the Bunin-led leadership of the party, as Vice President Yemi Osibajo and the APC governors are set to meet to save the party. Former APC National Legal Advisor Dr. Moise Banure joins us now to share some of his perspective on this issue. And I want to say thank you very much, sir, for joining us here today. And we've been speaking about this in, for some days right now. We want, let's get your perspective, first of all, of the, of the status of the acting chairman of the party. Some are saying he should leave. Some are saying he should stay. And some have declared the Congress also um, illegal, so to speak. What's your perspective of all that has been happening in the last one week? Well, thank you very much. I think I chaired the I share the position of those who believe that it should leave because of the, not only the Supreme Court judgment, in fact, Article 17, Roman Figure 4 of the APC Constitution is very explicit on that point. And it simply says that you cannot be in government in any capacity whatsoever and simultaneously occupy a party office. So even without the Supreme Court judicial, that in itself is enough to disable anybody from occupying the, 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 the dual position in, in those capacities. So for the current uh, caretaker committee led by Governor Bunny, I equally believe that the honorable thing to do to save their party from eventual doom is to excuse himself and possibly reconstitute because there are so many other governors in the a caretaker committee, and I'm sure that if they examine even some members of the caretaker, some of them will be occupying offices within the government's establishment. And to that extent, uh, they are tainted. So I will expect that they will honorably bar out, and if otherwise, they need to, as a matter of urgency, dissolve that particular body. Be that as it may, I also will believe, I believe that the current Congress that is ongoing, we ultimately likely to be a nullity in view of the fact that the precipitating factor that is to say the document that triggered the process was signed by the same governor Buni, who technically from the supreme court decision in akere delicted has been declared to be invalid for the purpose of occupying the office of chairman of the apc so that was my uh my thought on that issue. Okay. And um, what do you make of the fact that we still have differing views? Um, we have uh, Babatunde Ogala, um, uh, San, and, and also an advisor, a former advisor like yourself, saying that uh, adopting the same position you've adopted, whereas we have um, uh, Senator Magnus Abe, whom we spoke to yesterday, saying that the Supreme Court position was merely to say that uh, my, my Malabuni should have been attached to the suit. Um, he feels that the more urgent challenge facing the APC is that of godfatherism and lawlessness as a product of that. What do you say to that? Well, let me tell you the first instance that the view expressed by Senator Magnus must be speculative. I'm sure that he has not seen the Supreme Court judgment. I'm privileged to have read one of the judgment, uh, the minority judgment already. And I do know that what is not in dispute from the judgment itself is the fact that Governor Bruno could not have been occupying that position, being the governor of the state. That one is set to, it's not in dispute. There's no controversy around that subject. Where is in dispute, or where we have divergent opinion among the justices of the Supreme Court, is as to whether there is a need for a, there was a need for a joint there or not. In other words, should Governor Bruno have been joined the action or otherwise? That, was, that is the only area of divergence among the Supreme Court justices. So the minority uh, view is simply that he ought not to be joined, APC happened to join, and APC happened being the principal to the Governor Bunny. And secondly, technically, that because he have immunity, he could not have been joined anyway. But the majority feels that notwithstanding, he ought to be joined. But beyond that, there seems to be an unanimity of opinion among all the seven justices of the Supreme Court that it is an aberration, it is unlawful for uh, the governor to occupy the position of the party as well as continuing as the governor of the state. All right, sir. So, um, the meeting between the vice president and the governors of the APC in the bid to resolve this on pass, 
do you think it will get to a conclusive end and also probably douse the tension and the fires in the APC? Well, I hope so. It's a matter of hope, to be candid, because I understand from the great friend that if we initially, the president's view, as typified by the vice president, is that the party ought not to have proceeded with the uh, Congress. Um, in defiance of whatever counsel they must have received from him, they went ahead. Uh, the only way out now is to reconcile their position, in particularly in view of the fact uh, uh, that the, 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 there is a sort, of, a sort of clarity around the subject that, look, you cannot do this one. It's as simple as when I was legal advisor, I conversed that position against a lot of people that, look, once you occupy an office within the government, you can't come back to the party. And I believe that if that position or this position is taken, then it then means that certainly the, the, uh, the Congress so far had, will have to be nullified and a new body be constituted for the purpose of starting or commencing the entire process in the novel. Otherwise, it means nothing if at the end of the day, you have done all the stages, you've covered all the might, and is virtually declared in all Now, you will observe that more and more cases are coming up on the EU now. And I, from what I've read so far, I can see a situation where the court will continue to nullify most of these congresses. It's really less proceeding or progressing beyond where they are now. Okay, thank you, Dr. Moise Banire, uh, former uh, National APC legal advisor. Thank you.